Hey y'all, Doug Botod here. Just want to show y'all rib roast I'm preparing for uh, Wednesday. Check it out. Alright, got us a nice piece of uh, rib roast here. Let's see, half of that was, I cut the other half up for steaks. This half of the rib roast, so I'll show you here's the other half right here. Got some. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Inch, inch, inch and a eight there cut. Nice thick old rib roast cut. And then what I use, I put a little bit of olive oil on it. A little olive oil, a little rosemary, just a touch of Montreal, and then some more black pepper. And uh, most people put a little salt on it, but I think the Montreal's got enough salt in it, sodium and whatnot, that yeah, I'm good with that. I don't even know why that's at. I don't even see a message. But anyways, that's her. I'm about to wrap it up. Sealed. She'll sit in the refrigerator till Wednesday. Ah, probably Tuesday. I might cook it on Tuesday. See what I can come up with. And uh, slow roast her. Put her on the grill for a little while. And then bring her in bed and let it sit in the oven for a little while. Yeah, it'd be nice. I'm actually going to give her another wrap. protein for the week. I got to switch up chicken protein next week. I'm doing a, uh, what they call a, do you, you carbs one day, protein one day, do a carb day, I do a heavy workout day when I do my carb day, and then protein day is more of a relaxed day, I do light, light workout stuff. So let's go back and forth, back and forth. I'll do two days of beef, chicken, I'll do one pork day. Pork's just it's heavy on the belly, so kind of watch out, eat too much of that. Of course, they say the same thing about red meat, but you got to have my red meat, man. Come on. All right. Anyways, I appreciate y'all. And uh, Tugboy Todd signing out. I'll be firing the grill up later. Maybe I'll video it. I don't know. We'll see. Y'all take care. Later.